so the plan now go in and uh, smash back so for me I mean I've said this before pretty much every time I do back it's not complicated you know there's no kind of special whatever all you're doing is just pulling some shit hard you know the enlightened lifter is able to take any external input and convert it into motivation if you got something lagging or if you're not where you want to be that should be motivation enough to go in the gym and fucking start spamming some heavy girls whoopsie daisy change my mind if you weigh less than 200 pounds right now i'm mandating that you start a ball all right guess what day it is guess what freaking day you know, slow, really controlled, or you kind of throw the weight around really quick. And I'd say an even mix of both is probably good. But you know, if you if you, if you ever look at yourself and you're like, oh, I got a little lag in something or other, uh, and it makes you like, it like depresses you, like puts you down. Oh, geez, my freaking. Oh, my biceps are so freaking small. Right, if that just puts you in a bad mood, or if you let that put you in a bad mood, if you got something lagging, or if you're not where you want to be, that should be motivation enough to go in the gym and fucking start spamming some heavy girls. So, I can understand the, uh, the appeal of skipping a leg day. It is a rather hard lift, but, you know, if you want bigger legs, then what the fuck are you even thinking about skipping leg day, dude? You're fucking insane. All right. Come on, get up. Wake your ass up, man. It's time for chest. It's time for a freaking chest day. I'm excited. I, uh... Just rewire your brain to make your max out your top set for reps. Right? Who the hell wants to do one rep? You know? Fuck that shit. So, fuck at 1 a.m., gym should be dead. Perfect setup to get hype. So, let's fucking get in there.